Every year, a group of liberal Christians get together in Bethlehem, and they have a hold meetings called Christ at the Checkpoint. There, they make arguments for why Christians should not support Israel. We're going to look at seven myths concerning why Christians should not support Israel, and we're going to debunk them. Stay tuned. Welcome, my name is Nathan Jones. I'm an evangelist here with Lamb and Lion Ministries, and I'm joined by another one of our evangelists, Vic Batista, who is our assistant evangelist, and uh, he's come all the way from Florida to join us here in Dallas and answer these myths. We're going to bust these seven right. myths about why Christians should not support Israel. So Vic, go for it. What is the first one? <laughs> Nathan, the first one that we find is the Jews killed Jesus. And Exactly, and that's one of those myths, but listen to this. Those who accuse the Jews of killing Jesus seem to have purposely forgotten that the Bible says, Indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in the city to co conspire against your holy servant, Jesus. And that's found in Acts chapter 4, verses 27 and 28. So again, that is a myth, Nathan, because we notice who put Jesus on the cross, our sins. Absolutely. You can even go to John 10, where Jesus said that he himself put himself on the cross. So the Jews didn't kill Jesus. You can say the Jews, the Gentiles, you and me from our sin. But ultimately, it was Jesus himself who put himself on that. So I would say myth number one, busted. Busted. Myth well, number two. Sorry, Nathan. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, let's look at myth number two. Christ at the checkpoint, people say the Jews have been disherited because of their unbelief. Another one, right? But listen, the Jews may have been evicted from the land twice due to their rebellion against God. But as Psalms 105 explains, God guaranteed in his Abrahamic covenant that the land of Israel unconditionally and forever belongs to the children of Jacob. And as the Apostle Paul argued in Romans 9, chapter 9 and chapter 11, did God reject his people? By no means. I am an Israelite myself. Did they stumble so that I fall beyond recovery? Not at all. So we notice again, that is another myth. God is not through with his people, Nathan. He is not. There's a big difference between Israel and the church because that's the third myth, that the church has replaced Israel and now receives her inheritance. Well, not according to Apostle Paul. You can read in Romans chapters 9 through 11. Uh, it said that the natural branches would be grafted back on again. In other words, Israel as a nation still has promises that God has for them. So while we, the church, have inherited the spiritual blessings and curses, we also know that Israel still has a plan and purpose. Matter of fact, most of end time Bible prophecy revolves around the nation of Israel. Absolutely. Right? And Nathan, not only that, but look at the movement like Jews for Jesus, chosen people. Clearly, we see that God is not through with his people. So we need to continue to pray for Israel, for the Jewish people. God is not done. So if someone is saying that, they're mistaken. Well, what's the fourth myth? Nathan, the, the fourth is the Jews regathering back to the land of Israel can't be from God because they haven't repented and accepted Jesus as their Messiah. But we were just talking about that, the work that God is doing. As a matter of fact, the Jews returning to Israel in unbelief is exactly what God foretold would happen. Isaiah prophesied the Jews will be regathered a second time from the nations of the world. And Ezekiel made it clear that the Jews will regather in unbelief in order for God himself to give them a new heart towards him, according to Isaiah chapter 11 and also Ezekiel chapter 36. So Nathan, we see the proof right before our eyes. Absolutely. Busted, I would say. Uh, myth number five, to support Israel is to support every action of the Israeli government. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't support every action of my own government, especially in this administration. So to say that we should discount Israel's biblical promises because you disagree with their current secular government is to make a, a law of contradictions there. Uh, right. We support Israel is to support the redemptive work that God is doing through Israel. He's bringing Jews to know Jesus Savior and he will continue to do so after the rapture of the church. Mm, I love it. What's the next myth? Well, Nathan, also we notice another myth is the Jews stole the Palestinian land and lived there illegally. 
Is that true? No, well, first off, the Abrahamic covenant grants the Jews an eternal deed to the land of Israel. Second, when the Jews began returning in the early 20th century, there was no such thing as a Palestinian. The handful of Arabs living in that wasteland sold the land back to the Jews at an exorbitant price and a third of Israel was created legally in response to the United Nations Declaration that was passed in 1947. So I think that myth, Nathan, has been busted. The Jews not only bought the land, but the UN partition gave them the right in 47 to go back to the land. The Palestinian people in the area were offered a nation at its time. They refused, although Jordan is technically the Palestinian nation today. So that's a myth that's long been busted. Uh, the seventh and final one, to support Israel is to hate the Palestinian people. That's what the people at Christ the Checkpoint say. Can you support Israel and still support the Palestinian people? Yeah, Nathan, and the, again, you know, we are, we're called to pray for people. Well, we need to be very careful. See, the, and contrary to the Arab propaganda, which is part of what that is, those who call themselves Palestinians enjoy more freedom and rights in Israel than if any that lived in the Muslim nation. For it is not the Jews who hate and abuse the Palestinians, but their own terrorist leaders who steal billions of their foreign and deny, their foreign money and deny refugees access to their own people in their own country to Syria and Jordan. So Nathan, this is something that the average person doesn't understand and doesn't know, but another myth. Absolutely. I've known a number of Palestinian Christians, especially on my trips over to Israel. They're part of the church, just like those Jews who are getting saved are part of the church. After the rapture, we'll see uh, at least the world will see Jews get to be saved as well as other Palestinian peoples get to save. So, no, to support Israel isn't to hate the Palestinian people. That is, again, a straw man argument. So I would say, Vic, that those seven myths are just that, myths, right? Absolutely. And I think for those of you that are out there, we need to be good students of, of the Bible as well as history and see that God loves the Jewish people. We need to continue to pray for them. And also we see the super sign, which is a miracle, just by seeing them regathered. Amen. Amen.